Do you know which material is used to make this shirt? If not, let me tell you. Good afternoon. My name is Kalin Gon Kantachelna from South Sasse Dekra School. And today, I would like to talk about plastic waste. Almost everything we use has plastic in it, from be it a little or a big portion. From cups to packaging, from shirts to shoes, it is everywhere. Plastic was first produced in 1907. Since then, the production has increased by 230 folds, with half of it being single use. Generally, lifespan of plastics are around 10 years, but it can take up to 500 years to decompose. Talking about plastic waste, around 350 million tons are produced each year, with only 9% being recycled. Research has shown that recycling only 10% of plastic waste can reduce the amount of them reaching the environment, reaching the environment by 50%. However, the problem with the majority of plastic recycling nowadays is that the remoting of plastic into new products, which is also single use, is just delaying the final disposal, but does not prevent waste. With this, I think a new alternative is required to approach the goal we are aiming for, reduction of plastic waste. 60% of all clothing is made out of synthetic fibers such as polyester, nylon, and acrylic. Polyester is the most commonly used, which can be seen in both fabrics and containers. The use of polyester in clothing is much preferred due to them being easy to produce, durable, and wrinkle resistant. Recycled polyester has been revealed to be just as good as new polyester in matter of quality, but results in 32% less CO2 emissions, 60% less energy required, and contribute to reduce extraction of crude oil and natural gas to make new plastics. With this, I realized that since the same plastic types are used in both industries, it would be great if we can use the plastic waste, especially the most common, water bottles to produce something which can be used for much longer. The steps include 1. Washing, sorting, and cleaning. After collecting water bottles, we separate them by types and colors to ensure uniformity of the product. Then we clean it thoroughly, removing labels and other contaminants. 2. Shredding into small flakes. This helps increase surface area. 3. Melting and extrusion. There are actually two ways to do this. Mechanical recycling involves heating and forcing it through spinnerets to create fibers, while in chemical recycling, polyester is converted back to monoester, which allows them to be used like new. 4. The extruded filaments can then be textured then spin into yarn. Around 5 water bottles can produce enough yarn to make one t-shirt. This process is expected not just to reduce the amount of plastic waste, but also the new plastic production, which seems to be a bigger problem. The project aims to transform single-use plastic waste into something which is more durable, thus results in a more sustainable alternative. Even though this is not the way to solve the problem entirely and more approaches need to be introduced to further reduce the plastic waste, this is an additional step towards success with various benefits provided, including reduction of carbon footprint. Thank you.